Hello. I'm going to show you today one of my favorite text editors, uh, Notepad++. It has some really cool features. There's about three or four features that I'm going to show you that are just essential and it's going to really cut down your coding time and make things a lot easier for you. Now first and foremost is a couple of plugins here that I'm going to show you. Now you can I'm not going to go into how to install Notepad++ or the plugins. I'm just going to show you some really key plugins that have really helped me. Uh, the first plugin is going to be uh, your brackets filler. So let's real quickly go to Plugin Manager. If you see Show Plugin Manager, you'll see there's the X brackets light. Okay. Now that's going to be on available. I told you I wasn't going to show you how to install, but I, <laughs> I'm sorry to kind of show you how to install here. So you'll see that. Make sure you have X brackets light. Now, if you look at your plugins, here's X brackets light. You can go into the settings. It's a pretty simple plugin. There's not much you can do with the settings, but I really have come to rely on the brackets. And here's what brackets does. If you put in a bracket, it automatically will put in the closing whatever it is, parentheses, brackets, or whatever. So hello. And if you you can put in bracket, this is my bracket. And the other nice thing about it is you can see it it color codes it as red. So a lot of times when you have lots of code, it's easy, it's nice to have it in there because I can put my cursor next to it and I can find the end bracket. It really helps me sort out a lot of my code. That's a real quick and easy plugin. I can't live without it now. Uh, the second big plugin is the uh, FTP. It's MPP FTP. Now let's go back. We'll go into the plugin manager. And you can see on the installed, I have an MPP FTP. So once your FTP is opened up, you can go in there and configure your server settings. Go to click the little, click the little gear, and you can go into profile settings. And there is your page where you can go ahead and you can add different ones. You can add, you can uh, set the ones that you have there. I put fake information in here for now so <laughs> that the world doesn't see what my login information is. So let's go ahead and close this. So once you have your server settings put in there, and I've kind of tricked you a little bit, I shut it off and put in my server settings so uh, it'll be set. So you go ahead and you go ahead and connect, and it'll go ahead and connect you automatically to your FTP site. Now this FTP goes actually out to my website that I've created for my own little personal information. Now back in Notepad++, we're going to go ahead and save that file that we just created. And we're going to save it as test.html. And I always do that, so <laughs> I always use test.html, so it's in there. OK, now this saves it into the directory on my computer. But when we FTP, go ahead and go to the folder that you want to FTP up to. And you right click and upload current file here. And voila, it'll just pop that sucker open. And you can go and pull your other files and pull them in as well. Like you can click click on them and open them up, and they'll open up in the uh, FTPP editor. Now, if we go back to the web page, you can see. Oops. That that file is now there. And how easy is that? So let's go back to Notepad++. And I'll show you my third favorite plugin. My third favorite plugin is the Snippets plugin. And you can go ahead and see Snippets right there. And if we go into the Plugin Manager, I'm going to show Plugin Manager. And you can see I have it installed at Snippets. When you want to install it, it'll be available. And you can install it from there. Snippets also puts a button on your toolbar there. So you can go ahead and click Snippets. And this shows your snippets, right? Now what snippets does is it saves snippets of code so you can easily click them and post them into your text file. 
So if we look at our test.html file, we're going to go ahead and delete all of that out of there. And uh, snippets comes preloaded with a lot of separate snippets. But what's really cool, and I'll show you this later, you can customize your snippets. So we're going to go to HTML tags, and we can put in a blank HTML page. So here's our blank HTML page. And let's go ahead, and we're going to put a header in there as well. So automatically, it just puts the header in there. And this is the header, all right? So little exclamation mark. So then, once you do that, let's go ahead and let's add something else here. Let's uh, we'll go ahead and add a table, right? It automatically adds the table. It puts our code in for us. So we'll put header one. We'll type in head two, and then our two cells. And we go ahead and save it. Now remember we have that FTP and you can go and you can see down in the tabs and you can set this dockable however you want. But this is how I have it set up. So here's our FTP and we're going to go ahead and since we've saved that I'm going to go ahead and upload current file here. Alright, so now let's go back to that web page. And if we do a refresh, we'll see there's our header and there's our table. Easy peasy. can't believe I just said easy peasy. So let's go back to Notepad++. Now what's cool about snippets is you can define your own snippet. And to define your own snippets, you go back into that tab, you see the snippets, and you go ahead and you can create new library. So let's create library. We're going to do our four video library. And hit OK. And then you'll see on the drop down the uh, for video library should have been added. There it is, for video. And it has blank snippets in there. But we can go ahead and click our add and that'll create a new snippet. So we'll say new. And then we'll say, and you have two choices. You can have the before cursor, after cursor. If you highlight something and you have this selected, It'll put the information in the before cursor, before what you have selected, and after cursor, what you have after selected. So let's just do a simple one real quick. This is the new text. So we hit OK. And let's go ahead and put in our body here. And there you see the snippet. It's added up in the snippet video thing. And you can click, this is the new text. Actually, let's delete both those out. Oh, let's delete both of those out of there. We'll just click one. And there you go. So let's do a let's add one before and after the cursor. So you click add, and we're gonna just do we'll do before after. And we'll you do you don't click the replace selection, and before we'll put before dot dot dot, and then after we'll put dot 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 after. Okay. So we go ahead and we highlight that text we have. You can go ahead and click before and after, and boom, your text is in there. So another feature that I really like, it isn't a plugin, but it's actually in the language menu. Now you see there's a whole bunch of predefined languages in there. So if you go through, like you can see, there's you know TCL, TC text, um, CSS and even HTML. So here's our HTML. right? And that basically sets the language for the document that you're working on. Now the language actually helps you with two important things. First, it helps with the snippets. It attaches the correct snippets to the correct language. And another thing it does is all this formatting. You know, the blue font and the red font uh, it creates the red formatting so it makes your whatever you're coding a lot easier to read. So if I change the language here, see right now it's on HTML. If I change the language, let's go ahead and change it to CSS. right? So now it's reading it like it's a CSS document. And you can see it changed the formatting of the, co uh, the coloring and the coding in there. And also, if you look over here, it changed your uh, snippets. So the only s the snippets you can add are CSS snippets.
So let's go ahead and change that back to uh, HTML. So we're now back to HTML. And let's go ahead and create a new document. And you'll see that document in there. Now when you create new documents, when you save them, go ahead and save. Oh, actually, do a save as. Once you save it, what you save, what you put on the extension, we'll just leave it as new here. So if we do .html, it'll create that HTML formatting for you. So the snippets should be in there for your HTML. You should be able to create your HTML tag. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, blank HTML page in there, right? Now if we, we can go ahead and save that. Now if we open up another document and we save that as, we're going to save that as a style sheet. So we'll do new.css. And that's going to save just like your style sheet changes. And we can go ahead and, like I said, you can click in there. Let's we'll just like do a background style sheet, and it puts your it automatically puts that snippet in there for the tag. So let's go ahead and close these two out. And yeah, we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll save this one too. And let's go ahead and open up a blank document. So what I'm going to show you next is how to create your own language. Now, one language I don't have on here is a Reddit language. I do have snippets for Reddit when it goes into the default. So I can automatically, you know, when I do my Reddit postings, I can automatically, you know, header and then, you know, put a line in there. This way, the nice thing about snippets is not only it makes it faster, uh, it helps with memory problems. So we can do a bold on selection bold and there we go. Now even though it's in the snippets there's no formatting right so we don't know what what these different formats are there's no color it's all just straight text and remember the language both helps with the formatting and it also attaches the right snippets so let's go ahead and create a new reddit language if we go up into the language and you go to define your own language and see all the ones below that are the languages that I've previously defined so if I create a new one, and there's our, we've created that Reddit language. So we'll close this out. And now when you go into the languages, you can see that there's a Reddit language. So if we select that Reddit language, now you'll notice that the snippet's gone. Now you can import those, but it takes a, you have to import it from SQLite, and I'm not going to do it. What I'm just going to do today is we're going to create our own little snippet library for the Reddit language. So go ahead and you right click on that. We're going to do a new library. We're going to call it Reddit. And I'm going to hit OK. And there you should see your new library. And let's go ahead and we're going to add a new snippet. We're going to add bold. And then we're going to star star before after star star the two asterisks afterwards and this is new and if we click that snippet it should go there and you will see that when we change languages let's change it to HTML it's now in HTML formatting and there's no Reddit snippet we can go back and change it to Reddit and we have our Reddit snippet there right so you can have your snippets catered to the language that you're using. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, if we go back to that defined language, we can put the extension, and let's just call it Reddit. Okay, so now we have a Reddit extension. So if we save this as a Reddit file, it will default to the Reddit snippets. Or I'm sorry, it'll default to the Reddit language that we've created and that Reddit language is now attached to the Reddit snippet. And you can always see, like, if you go into snippets and see where it says the languages, it'll show you all the different languages and there it is. User defined Reddit is our language that is selected for that snippet. So now let's go in and do some formatting for that language.
Okay, so we have our new Reddit language, and we go in there. I'm going to do define your language, and you notice the header. We have H1, so you can do several different things here. You have keyword list, comment, and I'll show you each one here. So the keyword list is how you want to define a, a specific keyword. So let's do header one. So we're going to do H1, and we're going to go in, and you can see it already changed. Normally it's, it's set to black, but you can see up there, if you look on the header one, that'll change. We can do whatever we want there. So let's make it let's make it green. Uh, you can't see green very well, can you? So how about pink? We'll make it pink bolded. There we go. Now let's go over to the comment in number. So on the comment in number we can define our comments, which is good for uh which is good for our our bolding. So if we put double asterisks there, and you can see it already filled it out up there. We put double asterisks there, and if we look, it created our style for us. Now I had that in there. A lot of times it'll be black and you'll you'll be trying to mess with it, trying to figure out what's going on. But since it already blued it out, now you can see if we go there, it'll actually type the middle in black, right? So if we do for the open and then we type middle, right, it'll make the middle blue. So this whole thing will be bolded. So now on the folder default, folders when you see the code that's collapsed. So we're going to go over here on our notepad plus plus. And I type B for beginning and E for end. And then we'll put code in the middle. Right? So if we put on our open, if we put B, you'll see it automatically puts it all the way down to the bottom of the page. Now we put E for our close, and there we have our snippet in between there. So we can also style this one as well. We can put it on bold, and well, let's make it an orange color. There we go. Now comments are more for comments than bold. So that's where you have, let's say, exclamation means comment. Exclamation it out. This is the language of Earl. So there we go. And then put that in our open. And then as our close, we're going to put that as our close. Now the actual bolding that happens in Reddit is better to figure out in operators. So we have our delimiters, and we can go ahead and put we'll put our double asterisks there. And then we'll close it out with a double asterisk. And then we'll go ahead and change our style. We'll make it bold. Let's make the inside color, what are we missing, pink? No, we already had pink. We'll make it red. There you go. So that's a, that gives you a lot more room than the, it does basically the same thing as the comments, but you have more styles within the uh, op operators and delimiters. So there we kind of have it. Uh, we explored Notepad++ today. Uh, we looked at a couple plugins. Uh, we looked at the Snippets plugin that allows you to automatically uh, put snippets, snippets in the document we're doing. We looked at FTP, which automatically lets you upload your documents to an FTP site. Uh, at the beginning, we showed you the brackets. If you guys still remember that, it was an easy way to bracket it in and out. And then we also created a new language, uh, attached it to a snippet, and uh, we defined the language so that we could uh, format the code inside of our language. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I'm getting better at this.